In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a brand new site within your account um, with the purpose of trying out the new editor. A couple years ago, we released a all new editor uh, built from the ground up uh, to provide more features, uh, a ton of new apps, um, a lot of things that the old editor weren't we weren't able to add to the old editor, so we had to we had to basically rebuild it from the ground up. Uh, now there are a lot of clients out there that are still using that old editor, and while their sites work great. Um, they're not able to use some of these new features. So creating a new site is the best way to do that. Um, so from your account dashboard, you can click the logo here to manage all of your sites. Um, or uh, you can just click the drop down and click create new site. Uh, but if for this purpose, I will do the uh, manage sites page and then click add new website. Now from here, you're going to be choosing a new uh, site design. Now, if you've never seen this before, if you have not tried the new editor, you've not seen probably every one of these designs. So take a moment to go through these because there's quite a few to choose from. And all of these, of course, are using the new and improved editor. Um, so I'm just going to scroll down through here, find something that I like. Uh, this one looks good, and I'll choose that. And I'll add a, a new site title. Now, I'm just going to create the free subdomain because uh, whether you're a free account or you've at, you've got an upgraded website, uh, the first step is just to create that free account, get started on the site. Uh, should we have to move that domain name and your upgrade over to this new site once you've got that built, we can certainly do so. So uh, I'm going to choose the free subdomain, click continue. And that takes me right into the dashboard of my brand new and improved website using the new editor. Um, I'm going to take a moment to generate the thumbnail for the site. And once that's done, you can see that that's created. That's it. Um, now, of course, I have access to all of these uh, panels if I want to add these. But uh, for the video, we're just going to jump into the editor so we can take a look at a couple of these new features. The first thing you'll notice uh, is the left sidebar. We've added that, so it adds a little bit different navigation to the page. Uh, you still have the apps panel, which is familiar to you. Uh, now, of course, it's going to have a couple new apps that are not available in the old editor. Um, but it also has a few things on the side here. Uh, this is where you're going to manage your pages, your menu. Uh, this is where you're going to add apps and features. Um, this is where you're going to set specific designs for text, colors, background. Um, you can manage your blog, which is an all new blog app, not available in the old editor, which is really great. Uh, you can manage your store. Again, this store interface is all new with the new editor. Um, and you can, uh, of course, manage the pages. So a couple different ways you can do that. You still can go up here and click File, Add New Page, uh, Page Settings, uh, but you can just manage it from here as well. So. Uh, a bunch of new stuff in here. I encourage everybody, if you have not tried the new editor, to jump in there and do that. Uh, and if you have any questions about that, be sure to let us know. Thank you.